go in five, six, and seven. But Borky, the swimmer to watch. Defending champion from London, a man who needs no introduction in his seventh event, searching for his sixth gold medal at Rio 2016. His weakest event, he claimed bronze. In his second weakest event, he claimed the gold. This is one of his stronger events, and Ia Borki is not likely to be challenged, but indeed will just want to round matters out in the pool. Uh, will go to the wall first ahead of Turbide of Canada. Well, the first 50 of the second heat is substantially quicker than the first heat, and some of the competitors in the first heat may be watching this on a little nervously because the, the split time was 27.96 compared with 29.50. Iha Boki, look at this, just churning up the pool and doing it so easily. And he may well be on record, world record pace. It'll be interesting to see if he pulls it up here. Well, Iha Boki, this is one of his favourite events, and he is going along very strongly. Sets a Paralympic record, eased off as he glided towards the wall. But at 56.82, he's only 800th of a second away from his own world record. A very, very strong statement from Ihar Boki in the heats. The preliminary sessions. Ihar Boki. It's his seventh individual event of Rio 2016. He's already got five gold medals and a bronze in his six events to this backstroke. He's going for gold. And what Turbide has managed to do, that's a huge personal best for uh, Turbide of Canada. Hasn't gone sub one minute. He's now 59.93 and an America's record for the Canadian. Borky, though, 56.82, just looked imperious. So, qualifying comfortably fastest is Boki, drawing Turbide along with him. Pankov, Denisenko, Latika, Rousseau, Tosunkajayev, and Gotel make it through to the final.